Hey, it's Jessica Goose here with RealAgriculture.com, and I am at Grow Canada, held in Calgary, Alberta. Joining me right now is one of the keynote speakers, Alicia Rainwater, who is a part of the Center for Generational Kinetics. Alicia, how are you doing today? I'm great. Your presentation was awesome. A lot of people, you know, you. I think came out of that very refreshed, mm. and uh, you know, there were some laughs, definitely yeah. for sure. I think the I one like <laughs> exactly, mm -hmm. especially the one uh, where you said uh, for I think baby boomers to hold up their hand, and then you said, mm -hmm. "Oh, yep, there's all the watches." Um, <laughs> uh -huh, right. Sometimes they're getting smart watches, yes. though, you know, like yeah. evolving with the technology. Exactly, so, yeah. exactly. But yeah. what you spoke about was kind of how um, generations obviously play a key role mm -hmm. into your workforce, right? Yeah. You have various ones. I mean, even at Real Agriculture, I'm a millennial. Yeah. I believe we actually have a Gen Z. Uh, my boss, I think, is a baby boomer. Mm -hmm. Sean, how old are you? I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, right. So we have all these different generations. How can you work together? So mm -hmm. there were two main things that you wanted uh, people to kind of take away with yeah. first one being parenting mm -hmm. yeah it is a what we call like a hidden driver behind behaviors that we think oh parenting affects this one area of our life and and that's it and it's a it's a personal domain of our life but we found that it's the number one indicator of how you go on to behave at work too so a lot of these employers are kind of scratching their heads sometimes and thinking well, wh why are you doing things differently than maybe with the way we've always done them at work? Or why are you kind of pushing some of the limits about when to show up or what to wear when you're at work or um, how quickly to respond to a phone call or things like that? A lot of that is learned behavior that was shaped kind of early on uh, by parenting. Mm -hmm. So, and we see that affect um, agriculture and all sorts of industries, but it's definitely having an impact here. You know, even the messages that maybe families gave to their children about um, succession planning for a farm. Mm -hmm. um, that's part of the conversation and part of this parenting piece that can be one of those things that uh, shapes what this industry is facing. Mm -hmm. yeah. What are some of those th things with parenting that are you, that you're finding with the different generations? I think uh, mm -hmm. you touched on it a little bit there, but with responding to messages, each generation is different. Yeah, yeah. So I would say, you know, baby boomers, they were, uh, the messages that they heard was, you know, you get a job right away when you're 18, you got to be independent, get out there, you know, you're on your own. Yeah, you can <laughs> do it. <laughs> right, that was a message they heard. But what's so funny about that is that the, then they raised their kids so differently to say, you know, it was really hard for us and we don't want it to be as hard for you. Mm -hmm. And we want to give you some advantages that maybe we didn't have. And so it was uh, other messages that we heard a lot were like, you got to get that education or it's, you, <laughs> you know, the, the path to success looks like this. And then suddenly we come across an economy that actually says, here's where we actually need the jobs. We need jobs. Yeah. We need you in right agriculture now. Yeah. right now. Um, and so that message um, was another thing that millennials heard that's very specific mm -hmm. to them. And we could even say that Gen Z might have heard something like, oh, look what happened with the recession or student debt crisis or, you know, where's the market actually going? Let's pay attention to some of the mistakes mm -hmm. and see if you can course correct yeah. for that. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Definitely with mm -hmm. my mom being a baby boomer, I got the talk of, <laughs> yeah. I don't care what you do, mm -hmm. but you need to get a certificate. Yeah. <laughs> you need to get a diploma, a right, degree, whatever right. you're doing, I will help you. Mm -hmm. But get that, that, that needs to happen. Exactly. Yeah. Um, as far as technology goes, mm -hmm. that is different. I mean, you already mentioned it with the watch, yeah. whether it be a, a, a actual watch or, or smart mm -hmm. watch, right? Um, what else are, are we seeing as far as technology with yeah. the different generations? Um, so we're definitely seeing that technology shapes our expectations as we enter mm. the workforce. You know, if you have always talked to people um, by Skype or FaceTime, or you've always done the majority of your communication through messaging apps, as like Gen Z mm -hmm. is always um, text messaging, um, maybe just straight through their phone or through a messaging app, um, that if that's your norm and you never experience something different, you're going to bring that expectation into work with you. It's not necessarily like, well, this is how we nef do things at work. You know, you see things like Slack as an app that it's like, okay, well, maybe we can meld these things that used to be, oh, you only use social media for this yeah. or you only use text messaging for this. And now it's kind of encroaching into our work life as well. So we're definitely seeing how... Um, what you were exposed to early shapes your expectations going forward 
as an employee and a worker. Mm -hmm. So that really um, takes some adjusting for the generations that they're all having experienced different types of adaptation to technology and they bring that experience into the workforce, sometimes it's like, wait a second, why are you doing it that way? Yeah. So, yeah. When it can be done this way or we've always right. done it that way, right? Uh -huh. I'm sure, especially when you look at Precision Egg now with the amount of technology that's in yeah. there, you have all these, I'd say, young pups, uh -huh. super, you know, eager to learn, want to like all the buttons, like all the tech yeah, technology right. surrounding it. But then you have the older generation that, mm -hmm. you know, knows how maybe all the, the sideways around <laughs> it and can do the job the exact yeah. same way, but just yeah. a different route. Mm. What do you find is, I guess, a, a struggling factor mm. um, with having a younger workforce and older workforce kind of mesh together? Because that mm. is like you, you've mentioned with yeah. uh, generational farms, what we're seeing now, right? We have the young kids who are ready to take over the farm. And then you have um, mm. the older people that, you know, still want to um, yeah. have some grips on it, right? right? What are you seeing as far as meshing between the two? That's a great question. I would say, you know, you have... Um, a way that things have always been done and things have worked doing it this certain way. Um, and there's a lot of um, sort of institutional knowledge or experience that the older generation has and they should be proud of that, you know, what they've, uh, the challenges that they've weathered or um, the experiences that have shaped how they got their farm or their business to where it is today. Um, and they should rightfully have um, investment in that. But what I think that where the rub comes in is when you have um, younger generations that see technology as this tool to make things more um, efficient or um, they have this idea of how they want to use something like technology or even just a different, um, let's say, work week in terms of when do we work mm -hmm. and where do we show up for our work? Um, thinking, well, why couldn't it be done this way? Um, that definitely, I think, is where one of those rubs are. It's like, oh, we're so exci excited to innovate, the, yeah. the younger generations. And the, oh, I've got these ideas or I'm going to be part of the family business now. Let's do it this way. And then it's kind of like, well, <laughs> hold gotcha. on just a second. Yeah. You know, like what I mentioned before was like um, innovation is great. Um De delivery of like how you deliver those ideas you have to be careful like for instance gen x really wants to know have you done your homework on this prove to me that this idea that you have is going to work mm -hmm. um what can you tell me in terms of the hard facts and the data that back up your idea um not that it's just you know um an exciting new concept but really show me that we can we can do this and not get caught off guard or um, feel like it was the wrong decision mm -hmm. after the fact right <laughs> try something new so right yeah. what about the other um, what are other people kind of saying when it comes to that I find this fascinating oh yeah um, in terms of um, how they receive that uh, information yeah um, I would say you know Millennials want to be um, what we say kind of empowered and challenged mm -hmm. they want someone to say um, I see where you're growing here. Here's mm -hmm. some skills that I see that you're developing. Because a lot of times a promotion, particularly on farm life, is not going to look the same or in ag in any industry, you know, biotech or um, a lot of times we can't just look to a change in title to right. be like you're progressing along. Yeah. So millennials want to hear, here's where I see you growing in your career and here's some next steps or areas mm -hmm. where you could um, continue to grow. So they want to be challenged. They want to be valued like a part of the team. Um, they want to see, you know, where, where is this progressing my career? Mm -hmm. um, and I think um, some of the older generations also want to um, be valued for um, this institutional knowledge, this wisdom that they bring, um, appreciated. They, they do like to, we see baby boomers like to work in groups too. Gen X is a little bit more independent sometimes. Um, and when we look at Gen Z, um, they're telling us, give me a chance. I know I'm new here, but um, give me a chance. I'm going to work hard. I know that I'm not necessarily going to get promoted in the first week. Mm -hmm. um, and they're also telling us that they really want um, specifics about how to do their job. Like if you want me to do it a certain way, 
show me exactly what that looks like. Give me the list. (laughs) I can't just read your mind. Um, I really want that specific direction. So then we're not having that frustration in the beginning between the two generations of thinking, well, I thought you knew how to do it. Mm -hmm. Um, And we're thinking, I'm I'm new here. Maybe this is my first job and I didn't get um, this sort of informal training in some other sector of the economy um, or even in agriculture. So, yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time today. I really appreciate it. And uh, we'll for sure have more up on our website, realagriculture.com. Great.